What is the uh, London Regional Recycling Center and why do we need one? Well, the London Regional Recycle Center was developed along with the county to uh, uh, be able to handle the volume of recycling that needs to be done in Laurel and surrounding the cities and counties. Um, we hope to make this a, a regional facility that will handle six to eight counties that surround Laurel County. That's our long-term goal. And why do we need one? Well, we're just putting so much in the landfills now that uh, um, we plan to cut half the waste that we're taking to the landfill out of the city of London by the end of next fiscal year. So um, that's substantial. I mean, we, we probably, uh, between 125 and 150 tons a day come out of the city of London. So if we can cut that in half, that'll make a, a big inroad into the what's going into the landfill. But if all the communities and counties around us do that, it'll, it'll really make a difference long term. For, well, won't be as much for me, but you guys and your, your children will be the ones that benefit from it, hopefully. How did the recycling center come to be? Well, we used to, the city of London used to do uh, recycle bins that we set out all over town and uh, the county would, would uh, dump these things. And the volume got to the point that the county couldn't keep up with, with the uh, uh, dumping those bins with the little facility they had over on the Porter Street. So we decided uh, with their help to go ahead and develop this facility to be able to handle the volume that we do, Laurel County does, and surrounding areas. What are the uh, hours of operation for the facility? Well, the processing hours are 7 to 3.30. But the drop-off facility, what we're standing in front of, is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What types of recyclable materials do you guys accept here? Well, we take all the plastics from one through seven, any of those type plastics. Ex explain that. What well, do you mean by one through seven? If you look seven? on the bottom of any container, it'll have a triangle, and it'll have a number in that triangle. Now, if it's one, I'd like to have it in these two bins down here. Number two colored is like yellow milk jugs. Uh, number two clear is like the OPEG milk, milk jugs or the almost clear milk jug. And we do need those separated. It helps us you know, in our facility process the items. So it's as simple as looking on the item and, right, and checking right. for a number. You've got one in one container, two color, two clear in separate containers, and then three through seven goes in one container. So it, it's kind of the junk items, but we, we process those all together, the three through seven. Okay. Does the city pick up recyclable materials from my home or office? We do in some of the businesses in the city right now, and actually we do some that aren't in the city limits. Uh, in this year's budget, we have an automated truck budgeted for and, and uh, Herbie Kirby's that we're going to start collecting uh, curbside recycling citywide, so that'll be by the end of this fiscal year. Um, other than helping the environment, obviously, what are any other benefits of, of the recycling center here? Well, I think the environment's the big one. Uh, you know, and I, I think, it, you know, we're trying to promote tourism all the time. And, you know, it, it, it's amazing to me how much litter gets thrown out on the side of the road. Hopefully we'll get that under control a little bit. Um, and actually there's, uh, you know, we're making this pay for itself. We're, this is not costing the city. This is a benefit to the city, so it's paying its own way. So I noticed on your website that you mentioned that some of the schools are actually profiting from what you guys are doing here. Explain how that works. Well, when we set the schools up, we, we decided that, that we were going to subsidize them a little. But in doing that, we hope to get the children and the teachers involved. And uh, I, the mayor and I discussed it and talked about it at length. And actually, my daughter's the one that gave me the idea. She teaches in Meat County, and she was telling me they don't have any money for classroom pencils, paper, just anything the children need. So, you know, I told the mayor, I said, well, let's just say everything that the schools recycle, we give it back to the schools, but it has to go to teachers to be used for supplies in the classroom. Now, you know, they can, they can have a pizza day for the kids or something like that, but you'd be surprised if this the uh, Participation we've got doing that. January 1st, which is the first quarter, and we gave the schools $2,300 in recyclables back to them. And we've got a quarter that'll be figured this quarter and given to them when school starts, so they'll have money to start back on. So hopefully, you know, a lot of the schools are even competing now. Who can get the most? You know, so it, it's, it's going to be a good thing for the young children. So that's a win win situation. It is. It really is.
Are there any other surrounding counties that are following London's lead on this issue? Well, a lot of a lot of surrounding counties are doing recycle centers. Uh, I noticed in our region, there's only four other regional recycle facilities. It, when the state grants came out, they they list whether you're a regional or just a county recycle center, and uh, so we're probably uh, within five or six county radius, we're the only one that's trying to do a, recy a regional recycle. So, and you can see this is a very busy spot right here. Oh, yes. Uh, approximately how many people during the day do you anticipate maybe come here? It's hard to say. I, I would say 50, 75 a day. I've been through here at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning and there'll be somebody out here recycling. 5 o'clock in the morning. Somebody, you know, anytime I have to get out for anything in the city business during the night when it gets called out, I'll always drop by here because it just amazes me that people get out in the middle of the night. But I mean, a lot of people work days and that's right. that's their day. So it, it works. And that's one reason we wanted to make it 24 hours. Everybody has, a, has the ability to recycle. They don't have a reason not to. Okay, so we talked about... Um, the recycling center is obviously budget neutral, so it actually doesn't cost the city any money. So there, you could say that there's really no taxpayer money being spent on this facility. No taxpayer money being spent here. Um, your website mentioned recycled water. Can you talk a little bit about maybe the, I believe that it's in reference to the rain barrels? Rain tainers. Mm -hmm. we, we started to, uh, we, we per the city purchased 40 of those, and we're going to just initially take it off small. Uh, we've got the applications to purchase those on our website. I think they're $125. And it's a barrel that hooks to your downspout. The water goes into it, and it's got a top that you can plant flowers in. It's got a wick that draws water out of it. It also has a spout on it that you can drain water out of it using your garden, or you can hook a soaker hose to it and just have it, you know, uh, soak the beds right, right adjacent to it. Um, and we're going to sell those, and hopefully, uh, you know, it, we're just selling them at our cost, trying to get uh, people to start recycling rainwater. Now, if somebody was interested in uh, in actually getting one of those rain barrels for their home or their business, how would they go about doing that? They can get on our website. The uh, the uh, order form is on the website. Okay. Stop by City Hall, pay for it. They'll bring your receipt. Come to my office and pick it up. We we'll keep them there. So there's no requirements. Anybody, it's anybody can show up. Anybody can recycle here. No no right. limitations. Right. Any type of metal. We've got a bin over here. Uh, washers, dryers, refrigerators, freezers, air conditioners. We have a bin here for glass, and then steel cans, paper, and all the plastic, and then cardboard is, is in the end of that building down there. Um, we're, we're trying to get a, uh, a drop-off center built right now for oil, used motor oil, and used antifreeze, and that'll, that'll come this year at some point. Basically, anything that can be recycled right now, we're, we're really trying. E-waste is a big one, uh, computers, uh, printers, any type of thing like that. We have a company that we, we stockpile those and we get a load, they come and get them. And they're, they're taken to Louisville, further processed, and then sent to Tampa, Florida. And they're taken apart in a vacuum. So there's no damage to the ozone or, or the water table or anything like that. And that's why we chose that company, because we thought they did one of the best systems that I've seen on the market anyway. It's a huge facility. So you're talking about cell phones, laptop computers, old monitors, yep. all that kind of material you can bring here and it's... Here and we'll, we'll see to it that it's recycled properly. Is there anything that I didn't ask you that you want to add about this, the center here or about what you do? Well, you know, I just like for people in the city and also people in the county to, to you know, thank your government because they're a big part of this. They, without their support and backing, this would have never happened. I mean, I, I give Mayor Rudder a lot of credit. I mean, he came to this two years ago and jumped in with both feet and all he had was my word that I could make this work and he, he got on board and well what, what we've got is what you see you know very good thank you so much for your time today all right visit us online at londonhotwire.com